everybody this is studio link vst and we're back with another live beat making video now check this out guys i get a lot of questions with guys saying you know what can you make beats in other softwares we will um, we are comfortable in logic pro it's one of the best on mac so that's why you see us using a lot of our videos uh, using uh, logic pro we will be using ableton live and the machine and all these other different programs we definitely will but Please, when you're watching our beat making videos, even though we're using a different program, you still watch the process. Watch how you know you 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 start off with the drums, or you start off with the pianos, and you see how this beat and how all of our beats come together. So it may help you with your production. So just definitely watch that, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get straight into this. We want to make an R&B ballad. We have the tempo at 127. Uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it. I want to find a piano of some sort. Uh, so I'm going to go to our Maybach Empire kit. Let's find any piano in here. They all sound great. Um, we'll do the Dice Empire's keys. That's kind of what I want to play something similar to. So let's go ahead and get straight into this now. All right, I may have messed up a little bit, but that's what Quantize is for. Hopefully it corrected my mistakes. Let's listen back to it one time. And that's what Quantize is for. Like I said, it made it sound on beat, even though I messed up a couple times in there. Uh, it put it, it corrected it. So. It's real nice. Let's go ahead and keep moving on. We're going to move fast through this. Uh, I'm pretty fast at making beats because I've been doing it for a long time. It's not that I'm good or I'm better than anybody. Um, I just love to make beats. This is what we started out for. I think that's why we're so successful is because we were producers before we were sound designers. So we're going to go ahead and move on to our modern billboard part two. Um, we're going to grab a string out of here and let's turn this stuff down a little bit so we can hide it in the mix. We're just going to have some fun, play something simple um, back there just like that. So perfect. That's going to sit really well in the back of this. Perfect, perfect. So that's gonna, we'll, we'll mix that stuff a little later on. Right now we just wanna focus on making beats. Um, I don't like to do a lot of mixing and I, I think if you're using great sounds, you shouldn't have to do a lot of mixing anyways. Um, so that's why you won't see us mixing a lot. The mixing process can take a, a while. You should you should definitely make sure that your beats are the correct volumes. You know, every everything has the right, is hitting at the right part of the mix. So. Um, we'll do that a little later on. Right now we're going to get into our drums. So we're loaded up our modern drums workstation. Uh, and I think the drums are one of the most important to me when I'm making beats because I'm a hip-hop producer and drums are everything in hip-hop. So um, I'm definitely going to make sure that our drums are hitting in here. So let's go ahead and check out some of these different kits. might be able to use that right there. So let's go ahead and start recording.
just listen to some of these different sounds we have in here. We're going to go ahead and create another instance. Uh, and let's move on to some, some hats and crashes and stuff like that and shakes. Um, we're going to go ahead and build all the rest of our elements uh, to our drum pattern around that kick and snare pattern that we just laid. Just going around auditioning different kits, trying to find something that I really, really like. Let's try out some of these R&B ones. And that's going to work perfect right there. We'll add a little shake in there. Go ahead and add something else in there. Sounded pretty good now. Um, we're going to keep going. Let's keep building, guys. It's just like building a house. I used that analogy before. When you're making a beat, you know, you start with a nice foundation. Your drums are your foundation. You build off of that pattern and you build your mansion. Um, let's go ahead and keep going and let's build our mansion by making this R&B ballad. Um, we're going to keep going. Let's see. Let's add something else in here. I want to add some hi-hats of some sort. So that'll work right there. And I, I just want them sitting in the mix. We're going to change this quantize to 132. Perfect. All right, let's add those hi-hats. All right, well, now what I was hearing was that I kind of got off on adding those shakes. Let's find out where we, add, um, we added those shakes. Perfect, okay. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to remove those shakes. They're kind of throwing me off a little bit when I was playing that. So we're going to remove those and let's keep going. I want to add something else in here. I'm kind of hearing like some ethnic, like kind of patterns going on. So we're going to choose our all ethnic kit where it has tons of dif different bongos and congos and let's add some of that in there. Let's go back up to that right here. Let's solo this so we can see where we kind of were getting off. Oh, I can see it right here. That's what we needed to correct. All right. All right, so our drums are almost full. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna stack one more. Um, we're just creating another instance, and this time we're going to choose our toms. Let's go ahead and add those toms in there. It's real big in R&B is adding these toms. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a reverb, even though we have built-in reverb that we could add, and we could even do that. Um, I was going to add one inside of Logic, but we can just use ours built into the Modern Drums workstation. Now what I like to do is have the drum test. I call it the drum test. What I do is after I'm, you know, think I'm finished with my drums to test out if I'm really done and I'm if I'm missing something, uh, what I usually do is I'll mute 
all the other elements in the beat and just have only the drums playing. I want all of the drums playing at the same time and let's listen back to it and see if it's sounding full. Alright, that's sounding pretty good to me. Uh, let's go ahead and add another element in this beat. I'm kind of feeling like a, a synthesizer of some sort. And if we're going to have some synth sounds in this beat, I have to go to the Ultimate Leads. It has every single synth sound you will ever need for hip hop or R&B. Um, let's go ahead and load that up now. So we're going down to the Ultimate Leads and you see in here we have layered leads, hip hop leads and urban R&B leads. And let's go ahead and go into some of this. Let's see, let's grab in a lead in here. Um, and it loads up. We have all of our different sound modules that we can play around with. Um, what I wanna do is turn off this fat module. I'm gonna turn off the glide so I can play around with it a little bit. And then I'm on the mod wheel. So you kinda have, you hear that little sound. It's like the pitch is bending a little bit. Just playing around with stuff. Let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. could do is even get into here and we can go ahead and play around and adjust the um, low pass and high pass of that lead to kind of hide it a little bit better in the mix so it's not so out front. There you guys have it. We made an R&B ballad. I'll finish this beat a little later on. I just wanted you guys to come and enjoy making a live beat from scratch with us. Go out and go get the Modern Drums Workstation and the rest of these VSTs if you guys are interested in them at www.studiolinkvst.com. Thank you so much for watching this video.